Linn County and area nonprofits are now trying to find out why the number of people in need of housing has nearly quadrupled since the pandemic. Linn County data shows 33 people were living outside in 2019, and that number jumped to 107 in 2022. The Cedar Rapids City Council says one of its top priorities is finding out why the number of homeless is rising. KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak spoke with the city this afternoon. Brian joins us now live with their story. Beth, Jim, the city of Cedar Rapids says that the National Alliance to End Homelessness is already starting to collect data and it's surveying the city, county, nonprofits, as well as those living on the streets. I would not talk crazy about the bed. Dozens of people are like Jerry Weed, spending their day at Green Square in downtown Cedar Rapids. I've been homeless for about eight years. The number of people he's seen struggling to find housing has grown over the years. For him, finding a job and a place to live has to do with available resources. When you're looking at this food and meal services, which we got to eat, you're looking at a system that you have to go from one place to another place to another place. And if you're outside of that schedule, you can't get fed. It's barriers like what weed is facing. The city wants to identify by bringing in the nonprofit group National Alliance to End Homelessness. Cedar Rapids is paying the group $23,000 to craft solutions to the growing homeless population. They are looking at what resources are there from the county, from the city, and from our nonprofits. So what are we doing well? and then make recommendations on how to build on that, and then also say where are the places where um, there's a gap. Jennifer Pratt, the community development director, says the nonprofit already started surveying ahead of the two-day work session planned for June. She says getting to the root cause of how to better help people like weed is going to be a collaborative partnership with local nonprofits already handling the work. It's something she says they've experienced doing, having gone through natural disasters. We've had experience doing this. We know how to do it. We have those relationships. Um, and I, I will just say, you know, we have been meeting weekly with that group. It's work Weed says needs to happen to keep more people from having to go through what many of those living outside go through on a daily basis. A lot of people have given up hope and they forgot that it takes that inner strength and dedication to rebuild our lives. Pratt says once they do identify these solutions, the next task will be finding a continuous funding stream as there's likely to be more than one issue that needs to be addressed. In Cedar Rapids, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.